a thank you. Thank you. Yay. Extra, extra, extra. Finally. Yeah, I'm so much like actually do next one. Thank you. There's a pepper over there, guys. You can hold that. <laughs> what do we get? So, two chocolate frappes, extra drizzle. What else? And they actually put extra drizzle. Mm. That happens. What else? Yeah. Nice. I've never like had an order this big. Like, I was like, can I just get a cheeseburger? Can I have a yeah. Just okay. cheeseburger, like three dollars. Chicken and cheese. I've never had that. <gasps> I have mixed chickens, but they're oh my so God. expensive. I can't do the chicken chickens. Um, ten bites. KFC represent. Just gonna put that everywhere. Cheeseburger. Mm. Large fries. I feel like we should put that here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and ten nuggies with sweet and sour sauce. And a stray chip. Oh I'm just gonna spread the car with, with the food. <laughs> I'm just gonna spread it with food. It's so early and we're eating. I know. <laughs> I didn't eat breakfast for this. Oh my god, really? I had a banana. So I got my healthy. I bit. definitely like had breakfast and I definitely was still gonna eat. One sweet okay, two. Time. Time, time. We eating good. Because we're oh fat men. Is... So we're doing some um, question and answers? Yeah. We I'm like yeah, I don't have many friends, so um, no one really is. <laughs> it's because you put it up literally like 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, true. I don't and really everyone's do asleep that. on a Sunday. Yeah, that's fair. Everyone that got drunk last night. Okay. Okay, should I ask the first one? Okay, the first question. Started off. Is when was the last time you told a lie? Oh my god, last night. <laughs> Anthony? Yeah, don't lie to Anthony. I thought he <laughs> I haven't even told him this. I fully thought he was like hiding something from me on his phone because he like got a notification from a group chat and it was like full of girls, so I was like, what the fuck? And then he like took the phone off me. And mm -hmm. so when he went to sleep I like went on his phone. Was there anything bad? No. It was just talking about drinks. No boys in the chat that were having drinks for someone's like late 18th. Fair. And I thought he was fully lying to me, so I went through his phone. Sorry. Mine was, oh, last, yeah. watch this. Mine was last night too. Oh really? When I got home, I told mum I wasn't going out again, but I did. <laughs> you bad bitch. I'm a bad bitch. <laughs> what was your first kiss like? Mine was in uh my one of my best friend's houses next to a snake cage. <laughs> well, this is what chicken and cheese looks like. It's literally even chicken without is that the mayo lettuce. on it. Or yeah. like they always it's mayo. Um, and yeah, so we could have bites out of this. I'm not gonna try and split that. And yeah, so it was next to that, and I was really scared. It was three months into my relationship now with Anthony. And Were you dating before you kissed? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Random. I was so frigid. And then, yeah, he kissed me, and he said it was good. Oh, I hope you don't like the pickle because it's coming off. That's fine, I'll eat it by itself. There's two, yeah, three. I'm one of them. Um, my first kiss was at Matt Cutha. Oh yeah. The year twelve boy when I was year ten, so pretty um naughty girl. That's gross. <laughs> um, mm, and I snuck out, so Mum didn't even know I was there. So I was at Matt Cutha, and Mum was in my bed. Oh my god, but it was super romantic. Weren't you scared? I'm so yeah, scared. I was scared out. she'd be like, "Oh, come home," and I'm like, "I'm actually at Matt Cutha." <laughs> I want to do it one day. Okay. Even though I'm too old now. Okay, have you ever committed a crime? If so, what? Yeah, I ran a red light and speeded. And I also stole from Coles once. <laughs> Mine, um. I bet you haven't. I don't think I've committed a crime except, like, probably sped. But I haven't been caught. So, I hear you. We good. Because I have. <laughs> have you ever cried watching a TV show or movie? Yeah. Um, yeah, actually. Nemo. What? Okay, I don't cry in like real life movies, I cry in animated movies. Oh my god, that's not me. I cry. Actually, I don't cry in anything except Marley and Me. But, yeah. Uh, it's a bloody good movie. What would you do with a million dollars? I would go on a massive holiday. <laughs> Hello. Don't look to your right. <laughs> um, yeah, I'd go on a massive holiday and buy a really nice house. Or buy a car. And then a house, and then just save the rest. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. What is the most embarrassing thing that your parents have caught you doing? My parents? I don't even know. Neither. Probably just making a TikTok. Yeah, probably taking like selfies or something. 
I hate that when people watching me take selfies. Oh, right, and when you have to ask mum to take photos of you, yeah. she look cool. Yeah. But she won't. And then they take one and it's not a one hit wonder. Yeah. When was the last time you completely lost it? it last like... night. See ya. Alright. Yeah, but my eyes up so long. Hmm. I lost it at my mum once. We won't talk about that. I mean, I like scream and stuff, but I wouldn't say like had a mental breakdown. <laughs> I can say I had a mental breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> I'm unstable. If you could say anything about one person in your life without any... Wait, what? If you could say anything to one person in your life without any consequences, what would it be? Um, yeah. I don't know what I'd say to who. Yeah, I don't know. If Probably, you could say anything to one person with no consequences, I'd tell mum to pull her head out of it. Beep. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Have you ever let someone take the blame for something that you did? <laughs> yes. Yeah, funny. <laughs> well, not funny story. I'm not gonna say names, but in year three, I was sitting next to a girl and we were having like snack time, and she went to the bathroom. Snack time. And I had my mandarins, and I kept putting the seeds in her desk because I couldn't be bothered to walk to the bin. <laughs> um, and then when she came back, the teacher, she told the teacher, she's like, "Why are there all these mandarin seeds in my desk?" And the teacher's like, Annabelle, like, who did it? Like, you're sitting next to her, like, who was it? I'm like, I don't know, like, I think it was her, like, she was walking over Oh my god, lot. you're mean. And then the whole class had to stay in for detention except me and the girl who I did it to. You're mean. <laughs> How's your three, though? What's something in your web browsing history that you'd be embarrassed if someone saw? Oh my god. There's someone there. The Teletubbies. <laughs> that was my recent search. <laughs> um... I don't know. Probably like a a question to like a, a like a sexual question. Which I was it, trying. I to always don't know yeah. anything, and they're yeah. like talking about. It. I'm like, wait. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I better like exit this because if someone sees my search, hmm. is everyone a one chip eater or a three chip eater? What are you? I'm like a two. Oh, let's go like that. I do one at a time. Just like, looking in. <laughs> Super it's awkward. He's literally coming up. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. I hate that. Oh, there's a car full of them. Jesus. Have you ever shared a secret you shouldn't have or promised you wouldn't? This is so awkward. My cheeks have gone red. <laughs> I think I've shared a secret, but... I don't think I've shared one that's like actually serious. Like if someone said, yeah, and I believed it was. What's up? Um, sorry, we just got to interrupted by a call. But secret sharing, yeah. secret sharing. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I have. I've shared secrets, but that's now the next ones are for adults. We're adults. Um, okay. why did your last relationship end? I didn't like them anymore. My mum didn't approve of me dating a twelve boy. She <laughs> <laughs> offered me sweetie. Um. Was there ever a time in your life that you thought you were going to die? Yeah. Um, I was drowning. Really? Yeah, like full Where? With my brothers, my cousin, and two other people. That's scary. We were at Cotton Tree, and there was like this bank going out from the ocean, and we went on it, and a massive, the, the tide was coming up, mm -hmm. and the wave like pushed us over into this really deep ditch, and none of us could swim. And these but, two surfers had to come help us, and one of these guys got oh, to water in his lungs. Yeah, it was really scary. What about me? Oh, kind of the same though with water. I was in Sri Lanka on a school trip and the waves were fucking huge and this massive one came and we were all like literally under it. My earrings ripped out of my ears. It was that strong. Jesus. And we were under there for so long. I was like, <gasps> I hate those ones. We, oh, the waves just keep coming. No. Mm -hmm. See ya. What's your worst childhood memory? Living so close to my house. Oh, she's, she's gonna know that. It was like one straight away. I don't know. Um, Where's high school memory? Child, childhood. Oh no, yeah, childhood. I don't really. It's not bad, but like I never was that family to have like heaps of board games or heaps of DVDs. Yeah. Oh no, I had DVDs. Oh, we just didn't have every, anything, and I was like, oh, I just was like, don't come to my house. We have nothing to do. <laughs> So I was washing my back screen. I was like, what? <laughs> I just noticed it was dirty. Um, what kind of parent do you think you'll be? Oh my god, one that my parents are. I want to try this. I'm gonna like. It's actually good. I'm gonna just like try and sympathize more well with my child and not be so. Um, I'm the parent, you're the child. That's what I just literally don't like at all. Like, the authority. Probably. 
Whatever. I'm gonna meet up. Cool, mom. On like a Friday afternoon, everyone wants to come to my house. Yeah, so I'm have a fun cook house. Up, cook up the sausages for the little boys. Yes. I'm gonna be the milf. <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> They're gonna be like, I just want my house to be like everyone wants to come over and hang out. So not like that mum that doesn't hang out with the kids. Oh, cheeseburgers are the shit. Mm. What is the romantic thing that someone has ever done for you? Well, I have nothing, but I'd love to hear yours. <laughs> well, this one time, um, Anthony took, to be honest, is it weird that it was from my ex? No. Well, it's just if Anthony gets butt <laughs> Well, Anthony took me to Mount Kutha for a really nice anniversary picnic, but also one of my exes, like, in woodshop class, whatever you call it, construction, like, cut me a heart and, like, embroidered, like, my nickname on it. It was pretty cute. Let me think of He doesn't know that. Sorry, Anthony. Um... He wrote me a card for our one-year anniversary. That was pretty cute. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. We just kind of, like, go to each other's house and watch movies, and that's it. They're both in pretty non-romantic relationships, to be honest. This is pretty chill. Yeah. Um... What is something you've never told anyone? I literally have no secrets. Um, I'll tell you, but I'll just put me on the camera. Kids movies do you still secretly watch over and over? Oh, Barnyard. All the time. Oh, really? Have you seen that? No. Oh my god, it's so good. I you watch love Nemo Barnyard. and like all the Disney ones. Inside Out's a good one. Zootopia. Mm. Would recommend. Joe I like and I Zootopia. watched that the other day. That's a good movie. What is the first thing that comes to your mind about the person to your left? Um. Must be. Some sort of a word. Genuine. Oh. Also, nice. why do I look like I'm a chin? Like, I literally look like I don't have a chin. Like, I blend into my neck. It's not a bad thing. But thank you. You're I'll welcome. just do it too. Um, okay. Hmm. Um. I'd say down to earth. Oh, thanks. That's not really one word, but like. Hyphenated. <laughs> what is one thing that you've always wanted to do, but never gotten around to do it? Skydiving! Yeah, fair. I would want to go. Oh somewhere. my god, really? Yeah. <gasps> Let's do it. Yes! No one wants to go with me because I'm scared. Cliff, you know? Fuck off. Like, right there. Oh my god. Imagine. Talk about a time that you failed in life. I failed a math exam once. Oh, same. In grade 8, me and Peggy both got E's. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Todd Hunter was very disappointed. One thing on your bucket list. I have a bucket list, do you? Like, I have one in my head. I wish I did. Actually, yeah. I'm going to go on a really long holiday, like to Europe for a month. I think I made a notes list one time. I'm just going to check. Yeah, I, did. I definitely did that, but I don't have it anymore. Uh, I think I just have my kiss list. I love you. Hi! <laughs> Reveal the contents in your purse. I don't even wallet. have my purse. It's usually just all my cards. Have a look at mine. <laughs> I've got a wallet. I've got Faye's KFC discount card. Oh, that's so nice. Because she left it at mine. <laughs> Mascara. Must. Pen, lip balm, lipstick. That's a good freaking wallet by there. Gum yes. wrappers. Another pen. <laughs> <laughs> a tampon, more gum wrappers. <laughs> and hand sunny for COVID. <laughs> hand sunny for COVID. That's about it. <laughs> yeah, well, mine is all just cards. I have like 100 cards that I definitely don't need. Eat that, but it's whatever. I don't really care about Express your feelings for your sibling. Okay. You can go first. Um, my brother's like my best friend most of the time, but sometimes he can be a real... Not going to say it. Yeah. Um, like last night he was sober and he wouldn't pick me up even though the last week I've driven him everywhere. So like it's on and off. Sometimes we're like really close and like just go driving. Like we drove to the Gold Coast the other night for a lull, but like sometimes we just hate each other. 
Well, my older brother and I used to be close. Don't really talk anymore. My little brother and I went on a road trip <coughs> in July last year and got really close. So we're good friends now. But what if so funny? Describe your first date with Anthony. Not that Oh my god, I remember it being so scary. I'd spent a whole week with him at Cotton Tree. That's where we met. And we were going to the movies in South Bank. And I was so nervous that it was like going to be so awkward and we wouldn't have enough to talk about. And I remember, you know, the screen doors at South Bank? And there's like a door door next to it. I like was walking. I don't know what happened, but the doors like wouldn't open like mm-hmm. quick enough or something. And I thought they were locked. And Anthony was already in the cinema. And I was like, it was really awkward. Like we were just, just like trying to figure out the door. We were like, oh, it's really awkward now. But then we figured it out. And it was fine. It was good. What was mine? Joe and I went to go see a movie. I met him at Newmarket. Um, we went in, he held my hand. Oh. And we went to sushi and then I got the bus home. I thought he would have invited me back to his, but I didn't <laughs> obviously do well enough to get that. <laughs> and tell us the best quality and one negative point in your part mail. Oh my god, okay, so. Mm. Best quality is he's, has, he sacrificed a lot. Oh, can I do something? And what's the other one? Worst quality. Worst quality. Worst quality? He's competitive. Hmm. He knows that. Best quality, Joe. He loves me lots and will like always do anything for me most of the time. <laughs> um, and then the worst one is. Um, it's probably not like a bad thing, just personally for me. I've always wanted someone that like surprises me like we'll just come over with flowers or like just come over without like telling me or like surprise me in the morning Mm -hmm. but I don't really get that but that's fine we can drink yeah Mm -hmm. describe your guilty pleasure oh my god watching kids movies or kids tv shows on netflix like getting one of these (laughs) no fair they're the best what is the most time you've ever drunk and what's the story with it um, I was at Cotton Tree. It was the first time I ever got drunk. It was the second year we went. And I was 17. Or no, I was 16. And um, <laughs> me and all my friends got so... Like, me and my best friend got, like, drunk. And some other friends that were staying, sh- like, a short time away came over as well. And we were all on the beach with, like, all the other Cotton Tree teenagers just getting pissed. And the cops came. And me and my friend went to the showers and vomited in the shower. And she had like chili con con, so like kidney beans. We have to, like, s- they had to squish down the drains and stuff. And we had to hide it from our friend's parents. It was so fun. I'd say without vomiting, like drunk in the moment would be Josh Barbler's 18. Yeah. Um, I was just couldn't walk straight walking. So, I mean, we didn't finish the food. I'm getting full. Mm. Managed TV. Mm. Um. But we're done now. We hope you enjoy it. Hope you loved it. Please subscribe. subscribe below. Comment, like. Comment, like, share. Yeah. All of the above. Put on post notifications. Put on the ding bell, whatever you call it. Yeah. Um. Let me know if I should come back for another yeah, video. Yeah, thanks for coming. Okay. So much fun. Um, and yeah, I'm sure you'll be back. See you all next video. Bye. Bye. <laughs> She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something about her features You'll find the beauty goes much deeper Once you get to meet her You see her walking down the pool